In this video, we provide the solution to question number eight for practice exam one for math 1050. We're given the function f of x equals x squared plus three, and we're asked to compute the arbitrary change of said function f on the interval negative one to four. Now remember to find the arbitrary change, the delta y over delta x, again, evaluated from negative one to four. Uh, we're gonna use the formula where we have to take f of four minus f of, let me scooch over a little bit, f of negative one. And then we do this over four minus negative one. Do, notice on the bottom, you got a negative negative, so that is in fact gonna be a positive number in the end. So you end up with a four plus one down below. So we have to evaluate f at four and a negative one right there. So if we plug these in there, you're gonna end up with a four squared plus three minus a negative one squared plus three. Be cautious on your parentheses right there. Uh, notice in the top, I mean, I actually could, I have a plus three and a minus three, those actually cancel out. So I'm actually gonna simplify and use that result for us going forward. In the denominator, the four plus one is a five. Uh, so in the numerator coming back, we have to square the four, which is 16. We're then gonna subtract from it negative one squared. Negative one squared by order of operations is actually gonna be a positive one. So we get 16 minus one, which is a 15. Divide that by five, that gives us three. And so we see that the average rate of change is choice D.